A turnover here by the Bonnies. Saracolo looking again down low. Bregman to Saracolo again, he scores! What a feed, tic-tac-toe, it's four to one, UMass. In the blink of an eye. Second quarter underway. Hammett with the pickup off the faceoff. Hammett, who's still looking for his first career goal, moves in and scores! The Drip King has his first in a Minuteman uniform. <laughs> 35 seconds to go. Sounds good to me. The final stand here at Garber Field. McLean with a look on the left oh, side. Kick no. save and a beauty and UMass is going to be right at the midline here. Comes all the way out to midfield. That's a heads up UMass's play by UMass. Ball. Wow. The site for some Division I men's lacrosse action today comes at Garber Field in the heart of campus here at UMass. The Minutemen will play host to Brown University with both teams attempting to bounce back after losses last Saturday. This matchup will finish off non-conference play for Greg Canella's squad and they will look to enter A-10 play with their fifth win of the season while Brown looks to avoid their fourth straight loss to the Gorillas. Hello everybody, bringing you the broadcast. I am Scotty Morrow alongside Robert Cross, a.k.a. Coach Sizz. Coach, how we doing? Today. Garber Field will be the site between two teams playing their first season as members of the Atlantic 10 Conference with St. Bonaventure making the trip from upstate New York to play the UMass Minutemen. The Bonnies come into this one at 1-10 one overall and are looking for their first conference victory while the 6-4 Gorillas are looking to bounce back from a one-goal loss at Richmond. Hello everybody bringing you the broadcast here on ESPN Plus. I am Scotty Morrow to my left Andrew White. Andrew how are we feeling today? The and St. Joseph scored on two of those as well. Another 30 seconds to sit for Zach Belter, and that's a big loss for them. One of their standouts on defense. Castillo finds Saracolo. Out high is Hoynes. Hoynes to Prosik. UMass takes the tour and then reverse course. Here's Breo quickly to Hoynes. Bonnie's meeting him all the way, and Castillo's shot is stopped by Cachupo. Big save as the penalty expires. Here's Gump, who serves almost as a long stick midi. Listen as a defender, but works a lot midfield. That being Jack Gump. Five goal lead for the Gorillas with six and a half to go in the first half. Here's Kirsch looking for Tobin out high. as three already, and he finds O'Leary who scores. Seven to one in favor of UMass. The Tobin effect just keeps on going. His fourth point of the day. Just a quick little set, set play by the Minutemen. Quick into Tobin. One more to O'Leary, and he just takes it. Tobin drew two defenders to him as O'Leary was able to cut to that near left alley and he converts his first of the day and Tobin's first assist, which gives him 14 on the season. By far the most on the squad. St. Bonaventure takes it quickly off the faceoff. There, Fogo still in there. Quinn Nolan, who scored three goals already this season. Also listed as a midi, so he's a very versatile player for them as a freshman. A-10 Rookie of the Week as a Fogo as well in February. And he has his own High school stats, 87% yes. his senior year from the face-off circle, which is just unreal. 12th all-time in high school lacrosse history <laughs> for face-off wins with 976. If only there was a little more, he could have hit that 1K mark. Bring out from behind the cage, and that one comes out high on Note, and he makes the save on Rosa again. Note stands up to the task. 14 seconds into this one. Here's Samino. Bonnie's play it back out high. Trying to trap him past the restraining line. The move is made by Kenny. And a flag on the play. Bonnie's gonna go a man up. The first time in this one, UMass will have a player sideline. But the bouncer finds its way past Noted in. And that'll be Wesley's second of the game. A much needed goal for St. Bonaventure. Like a virtually zero angle shot, just caught note a little off guard. The bouncers, those are the tough ones to save. And he gets it passed for his second of the day. Note's been pretty good at tracking him today. 
and it will be, it will be Jake Dulac who is taking a one minute penalty. Very much needed for the Bonnies. And this face off is gonna be so important. Absolutely. Because the Minutemen can kill the penalty off essentially if they can get this draw. Hammett does not come up with it. Nolan does. Bonnie's trying to cut it to a just a five goal deficit before the buzzer. They'll take their time and try to set up the right play. Here's Carpenter. Carpenter to Connor Murphy. Couple freshmen playing catch. Comes all the way back out to the line. You mess with some good coverage on defense. Bonnie's took two full tours around the cage. No, it makes a great save, robbing Wesley, looking for his third. And that's about all you can ask for, for the senior netminder. UMass will get the clear. They have 33 to go on the game clock. We'll try to kill it off. Kearney avoided three long sticks on that clearing attempt. And note after that one just gave a shrug to the Bonnie's bench, says that's not good enough to beat me. You're gonna have to try a little harder. No, it's certainly a competitor. UMass trying for one more. Pro six slow shot evades the near side post. Seven to go on the game clock. UMass at full strength now. There's Tobin looking for four, throws it out high. Pro six looking for one more, and they get it. Bregman right before the buzzer reestablishes the seven goal lead. It's nine to two going into the second half. We've seen a little bit from Dash Sachs, but here's a chance for UMass in front and O'Leary buries it. And it's a one goal deficit for the Gorillas, 2.20 to go. And O'Leary makes it three to two. O'Leary, good looking athlete. UMass in a single invert, they get the roll off. Brown doesn't slide. Turn and rake. O'Leary's been all over the field in this first quarter. His sixth goal of the season, the redshirt sophomore, has been one of the best players all around for the Minutemen, even last season. Coach Canella asked him to be a two-way player more so last year and called him one of the most athletic players on the team as Hammett wins another faceoff. Yeah, he is a great looking athlete and you, you just saw it right there. He can get it done in multiple areas on the field. Let's see if UMass can keep the momentum going here. Leary behind the net once Look again. Prosik right here. Prosik with some room, another Good sharp hitch. angle, moves out in front. Prosik's bounce shot may have been impeded but goes over the net. O'Leary with the pickup. And you see the physical style of defense from Brown right there after the shot. Gabe got knocked to the turf, but uh, great Terrio, take by him. Terrio may have gotten a piece of that one as the shot clock was reset. Here's Tobin out front, score! O'Leary ties it again, his second goal in maybe a minute, 144 to go. This game is tied and UMass has some wind in their sails. Yeah, you all gas, no breaks. A little bit of momentum here. A little dodge the alley coming up the hash. Turn and rake. Great offense from UMass right there to uh, get some points on the board and notch it up three to three here against the Brown Bears. O'Leary has found ways to get open and has converted for the Minutemen just what they needed after a rough start going down three nothing to Brown, but the Bears win that face off. Moving in quickly, great, trail a great check defense. For UMass. Jack Gump with the with the cause turnover. And Note will start the offense up now on the transition. And Mr. Guppy, very patient there. UMass coming away with the initial clamp, but couldn't pick it up. And you see how dangerous Brown is off the ground offensively in the unsettled game. Good uh, trail check there from Mr. Gump, making a play for the uh, Minutemen. And oh! another shot they score. Will Abbott with his second of the day. UMass from three nothing down, comes back to take the lead four to three. Yes, sir, Scotty, one of our keys to victory for UMass is early offense. Get a great look at it here, high to low. Great shot. And Terrio just got handcuffed a little bit. Moved his stick a little too early. Abbott shoots it right at the pocket. Yeah, and fools him a little bit. Yeah, it's hard when you got a guy inside of 10 yards with a full head of steam with his hands free. 
getting off a shot like that. And the sideline is certainly pumped up now. And UMass will come away. Big ground ball off, there. Off that face off. If for UMass, you want to work the shot clock uh, end of the quarter time differential here to your advantage. You can be, uh, you could still be aggressive, but you want to take high quality looks and generate great shots to uh, keep chipping away at this Brown defense. They could take the last shot if they want. 40 to go in the game clock, 60 on the shot clock. Going back to that single invert package. Let's see if Brown sends a slide this time. There's Bregman. They've used a lot in the offensive zone, as you said earlier today, trying to spin away. That's been swat, he scores! Bregman makes it five to three. What a flurry of offense the Minutemen have just found in the end of the first quarter. Yeah, this is a great slow dodge, we call it in the lacrosse world. 